Hey guys, Chef Katrina here, and welcome to Jing by TechSmith. Uh, today I want to show you guys really the power of Jing and what it can do for your business. I use this particular um, app for uh, troubleshooting. Uh, I do it for screen captures. I do it for images that I'm trying to, to get online. This is a really powerful tool that you can use. and There's so many ways in which to use this one. And I just want to kind of go over the couple of the features that we have on here. This is where you would go to download it. The link is on the page. This is not an affiliate. This is straight up free uh, tool that you can use today to, to really help you get some images, um, start doing some tech support, all sorts of fun stuff with this. So when you download Jing, which is absolutely free, you're going to see like up here in my top, I've got this little sun thing that pops up. You're going to, you're going to have this little sun that pops up on your screen and you can place them anywhere you want on top of your screen. That's completely up to you wherever you want to place it, um, in terms of just moving it around. So the cool thing about Jing is that it is a absolutely, it's two things. It's a screen capture and it's also, um, lets you do video. So if you want to do video capture, if you want to do tech support. So all you're going to do is this little guy shows up right here. You're going to click on where it says capture. You'll click on that. So then you'll notice that I have these crossbars right here. The crossbars are basically telling you where do you want to start. So if I say I want to start right here and I just want to move this across, you'll see the rest of the screen blacks out. And then I can move this around to say this is what I want to capture. So if I'm looking to do this and I just want to maybe capture this image here, I'm going to use what they call just the screen capture, the capture the image. Once I capture the image, I have a very uh, limited amount of tools in which I can use to do some editing for this. But what this looks like, I'm going to go ahead and, and just give you a, a blank screen behind this real quick. So this is the image in which I just put this on back here. So what I'm going to do is you have a couple of things. You can actually do arrows on here. So if you want to point something out, uh, you would just basically put it on here and then move it out wherever you want to go. Um, these are able to turn fairly well. So if you need to, to move things around or it's not in the right place, just picking it up and moving around. So you can create these arrows. and You can change the color uh, as you go through. Like I said, it's got a very limited palette of what you can do, but there's a lot of fun things in which you can do with this. Uh, the other thing you can do is that you can also write text. So you have these text bubbles uh, that you can write in. So if you want to just put something here like, uh, you know, take a look at this. And then you can make that bigger or smaller. Um, you can change the color on the outside of this to maybe black or white. You can enlarge it. You can whatever you, you've got to do. Like I said, it's a little bit, uh, you know, not a lot that you can do with this, but you can change the sides and everything else like this. <laughs> so I'm going to open this back up again. And then again, you can move these around, uh, place them wherever you want. And, and that is the best part about having this this training at this. So take a look at this. That's there. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can box things out. So maybe you want to say, hey, I want this right here moved. And you really want to make a statement with that particular image. Again, you can change the color on this. You can make it a little bit larger. Um, so you have some different ways in which to utilize this than just rename it, whatever you want to name it. So, you know, test is what I'll probably name this one, test, uh, testing. Um, and then you have the opportunity to save it onto your computer. Uh, you can copy it, you can exit this, or they have something called share via screencast. Um, typically I only use this one when I'm doing video and I'll show you why in just a second. So hit save image, choose where you want to save this, and then this is done. And now you've got images that you can capture anywhere on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out because I don't really need that image, um, is that you can take video. So if you're on here and you're like, hey, I want to just take some video of whatever this page is, and I, because maybe you're doing some troubleshooting, maybe you're saying, hey, I want, you know, talking to a developer or something like that, you say, or you're doing training for your team, uh, if you're a network marketer, then all you would do is you'd hit this screen capture, this is video capture right here. You have five minutes to review anything in here. So within this frame here, 
I can actually scroll the page down and it will capture everything that's inside that box on the video. So if I want to say, hey, you know, I have some concerns about this particular item here. Can you take a look at it? Like this isn't working the way I want it to. Um, and then you can, you've got, like I said, five minutes to take care of this. You can mute yourself out. You can pause it. You can come back to it. You can, you know, whatever you want to do. But the size is pretty much set. So if you don't like the size or you need to get it bigger, uh, you're going to have to cancel this and start over again. But five minutes in here is a long time. I've used this to troubleshoot. I've used this to help people solve problems or get an idea of what is or is not working. So this is a great tool to utilize in that manner. Again, you would just click stop when you're done. And then whatever you want to name this one is, is again, up to you. So name, uh, test. What I would then do is instead of saving this to my computer, which you can do, you can either save it to your computer and share it that way, but I like to use uh, the Internet a little bit more. So I do something called VS Screencast. Uh, so I'll click on that. And you'll see right up here there's this little box that says Loading Name Test right here. And it gives you um, a quick bar as it uploads. And the reason I, I like this uh, a lot is because I can just grab the URL then from where this video is being kept on Screencast. So this little box pops open and I say I want to view on Screencast. So I usually wait for that little box to pop up. And then you'll see something like this. It says Screencast. And it will have your video that you just shot. So now you have a real easy way of just grabbing the URL, control copying it, and then either sharing it wherever you need to share it to whoever you need to share it about what's going on, what struggle you're with, whatever they need to do. So this it's it's only five minutes, so it's short, sweet, to the point. Uh, but this is a great way to do a lot of tech support, uh, kind of review something on your page. If you want to do a how-to real quick and keep it, you know, in the five-minute realm, that would be a great tool to utilize. Is this this one right here, and Screencast uh, comes as part of the Jing system, so you're going to have access to this. You have a very limited amount of space, but if you're kind of going through them, you can delete them as you go or whatever you want to do. But this is just a really, really powerful tool. Um, I'm a huge fan of Jing. I think if you're in network marketing or any business that uses the internet, this is a tool that you must have um, just for screen sharing, doing short videos. This is a fantastic tool altogether. So I hope you guys got some value out of this one. If you liked it, go ahead and download it. Um, if you're going to go and look for this, uh, if you didn't have the link, which is going to be down below. Anyhow, just search Jing and look for TechSmith, and this will automatically pop up. So thanks guys again for joining me in this training video. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me share your comments below if you're going to be start using this or how you'd like to start using this. Um, if you guys want to see more training like this, hang around because every single day I do a great blog post on some different training on how you can build your business using the internet. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Chef Katrina, and we'll see you in the next training video.